Hey guys, how's everyone this morning? I know that it's cold outside here in the Midvale and I just want to say welcome and I want to say hello to all our MCC members. I want to say how's it to everybody else, anybody else who, um, you know, who takes the time to watch this. And I just want to thank you guys for, you know, for the feedback you gave me, um, you know, with that bit of a testimony that I gave on Monday when both my wife and I had uh, coronavirus. Thank you. It always helps when you guys give us feedback. And it's so wonderful to know um, that, that, that everybody's listening and watching because we're supporting each other. Amen. And, and who knows, we're missing our gatherings. We're missing the fact that, 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 you know, we can't get together at the moment. We can't get together and with that awesome Sunday worship with our worship team. But you know something? I can't wait when we get together again. So... We, you know, it's just like, it's like, it's like the bride of Christ. It's like us waiting, you know, for, for when that, for that consummation with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So Monday I spoke to you a little bit about, I shared my testimony and I've been talking to a lot of people at the moment. You know, um, there's something, there's something that, that, that I, that I just see is, is missing, um, from a lot of us, uh, uh in terms of our walk with the Lord and, 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 and what's missing is this, this deep relationship. You know, uh, and, and maybe it's because of the type of work I do. Maybe I'm just sort of geared for, you know, for deep, deep conversations and, you know, for, for having these deep conversations. But, but I want to say to you this morning, sorry, I want to say to you this morning that, you know, it's so important for us. It's so important for us. Um, as as um, leadership and as children of God, that we know what we believe and we know what God believes. We know His Word, and I just want to I want to clear up something. You know, I want to clear up. You know, when you when you speak to somebody who's a doctor, there's medical jargon. When you speak to somebody that's a mechanic, you know, there's there's, there's, there's engine jargon. When you speak to a techie in terms of, of IT and that sort of thing, you know, they've got words that they throw around. I want to ask you this morning, when we talk about salvation, you know, what is, what is your definition? Not your definition. When, when somebody says to you who doesn't know the Lord, listen, what, what, is, what is the salvation? You know, for the Afrikaans, what, what is redden? What is salvation? And a lot of times... A lot of times we'll have, you know, we'll have answers that we give to these people and we'll have answers that we give to each other and we don't have the same answers. So this morning, I just, I just want to do a brief little sort of definition or uh, call it a teaching on what I believe from, now, now look at this from God's perspective, because from our, from our perspective, salvation, okay, is the gospel. From our perspective, we need to hear the gospel, believe the gospel to be saved. Okay. But when we start to grow in Christ, when we start to become leaders, when we start to become disciple makers, I think the Lord expects a little bit more from us. I think the Lord expects us to know something a little bit more um, than, than somebody that's, that's a baby Christian or somebody that's just gotten to know. So if you ask me today, okay, what is salvation? I would tell you salvation is three things. Okay. It's justification, sanctification, and glorification. That to me is salvation. Okay. From God's point of view. Okay. So to be justified. Okay. To be sanctified and to be glorified. Okay. So what is justification? Justified is a legal term. It means that I've been, I've, been, I've been legally found not guilty. So to be justified by God. Remember Romans 5 one says, Therefore, having been justified, we have faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. We have peace with God through our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So justification deals with the penalty of my sin. Justification deals with the, the, the past penalty of sin. So it's a legal thing. So, but what is sanctification? Okay. What is sanctification? Sanctification deals with 
Because sanctification has got to do with holiness. It's got to do with becoming like Jesus. So sanctification okay, deals with the power of sin. Today, I've got to make choices. Today, I need the power of the Holy Spirit to overcome temptation, to overcome wrong decisions, to overcome uh, what the devil's trying to do, to overcome my flesh, to overcome what I do. And glorification, okay, has to do with the presence of sin. So that means that after, in the thousand years, there's not going to be the presence of sin. When we die and when we go to heaven and we, when we live in the new heavens and the new earth, there will not be the presence. So all sin will be gone. So, so if we look at those three together this morning, okay, what happened when I was justified? My spirit, okay, my spirit man was made whiter than snow, Isaiah 40, okay. What happened, what happened with sanctification, okay, sanctification is my soul. So those, that's my will, my emotions, and my intellect. So in other words, when God justified me and found me not guilty, nothing happened here. I'm still struggling. I've still got all these things. But God, okay, now this is just something. When we get justified, positionally in Christ, we are as holy as He is. But progressively as we walk, we become as holy. In other words, our soul starts to become less and less and less like the old man and more and more like Jesus. And glorification has to do with the, our resurrected or our glorified bodies. So can you see the salvation, how amazing it is? Because God saves my spirit, my soul and my body. Okay. And if you look at scripture, scripture always talks about being saved. Okay, so there's a past tense where I'm forgiven for my sin. There's a present tense where I'm being saved because I'm working out. The Bible talks about working out your salvation with fear and trembling every day. But there's also something that I'm hoping for. In other words, if you go and read in Revelations, and I can't remember whether it was 21, I think it's in 21, where he talks about the saints are oh, the saints that are saved. But the whole of Scripture talks about the saints that are being saved. So we can't tell people that they are saved. In a sense, they are. But we're also being saved, and we're also going to be saved. And if you want to go and look at that, uh, go and do a Bible study on those words, on saved, salvation, and save. And you'll just realize how, how, how sort of poor we've made this amazing gospel. So I hope that clears up a few things for you this morning, and I hope you spend time. You know, um, for those of you who, who like making brain, uh, those brain diagrams, um, those brain charts, who like studying with, um, you know, with, with those charts that you, that you sort of start with a central circle. My, my daughter always just laughs at when I make one because she tells me, you know, that, that mine, mine don't look very good. But just put a circle in the middle of your page, of your journal, and right there, justification and then you go and look and you go and read scripture and then you just start just start branching out and you'll see how amazing justification really is how how rich it is and how rich sanctification is and how rich glorification is so that when we lead someone to Christ when we are discipling somebody that we don't have to we don't have to sort of you know stay uh, um, at, 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 an, at, a, at, a, at a place where, where we don't understand. You know, it's, it's so important, and Pastor Corbus was saying this to me the other day, that it's, it's important that we all say or speak out of the same mouth when it comes to salvation. So I hope that's helped you. If, it's a, if you think it's a little bit technical, um, you know, just ask Holy Spirit. This is not about cleverness. This is, this is about Holy Spirit coming um, and, and revealing Himself to you. Amen. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you that salvation is of God. I thank you, Lord, that your word says, Lord, that therefore having been justified by faith, I have peace with God through my Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you also, Lord, that your word says in 1 Corinthians 1.30 that you became for me, Lord, wisdom from God, sanctification, redemption, and righteousness. And thank you, Lord, that you also, Lord, that your word says that if we suffer with you, 
that we will also be glorified with you. And in Romans 8, Lord, your word says, Lord, that those whom you called, you justified. And whom you justified, you also glorified. So, Lord, I release that word. Lord, may my brothers and my sisters go out there today, Lord, and seek salvation. Because, Lord Jesus, you said, I have come to seek and save that which was lost. Thank you that we are not lost anymore. Thank you that you are bringing us home. And I pray that in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Guys, you have an awesome day. And I'm looking forward to sharing the word again with you on Friday morning. And um, just may, may God be with you in everything. May, and and may, may the fruitfulness that God has planned for you before. And just, just overshadow everything else in your life. And, and bless you. And have an awesome day. Amen.